Hey guys, it's me, Riesland, and welcome to my channel. It is currently 3.45 and I just got off of school. I had a really rough day today and today I just wanted to kind of get back in my routine, my school routine. I think the reason why it felt so rough is because I had a four day weekend like a day or two ago. It was great and amazing, but I was definitely not in the flow of school. I'm just super not motivated. I'm going to show you guys my school night routine. I do have some starbucks um actually i don't i made my own coffee and put it in the starbucks cup just to feel more productive the first thing i want to do is clean my room because it's really messy and it tends to get super messy throughout the week because i don't have time to clean it and also when i'm getting ready for school and stuff like that i kind of just throw my clothes around and be like i'm gonna clean it up after but then when i get home i'm tired and i don't want to clean it up let's write this down guys because i'm scared i'm gonna forget it for the people who are like, I want my room clean, but I literally have no motivation to clean it. You're my only, like my only strategy for you guys is going step by step and going by section by section. I understand how overwhelming it can be to clean your room, but literally it helps so much with like productivity and just like motivation for the rest of the day. We're going to start off by putting away all my clothes slash putting them in the laundry. So the dirty clothes are going in the laundry and then the clothes that I didn't wear um, are going away. Like as of recently, when it comes to like school and stuff like that, my motivation to like actually get the work done is literally slowly deterring like if it's like i don't know if it's just me but like i'm getting my school work and i'm like oh i have all this work to do and i'm gonna get home and i'm gonna do it all and i get home and i'm like no i have some tips for you guys for like motivation wise and like to get work done because like if you sit down for like hours to get work done and like you're not getting it done or it's just like you're spending too much time on schoolwork. This is how I give myself a little bit of wiggle room. When I first get home, I don't do schoolwork because I just had a whole day of schoolwork. And I know like it's like a big thing to be like, you get home, you get your work done, and then you get this break. But you never really know how much work you're going to have until the day of. So I like to do this. You get home and you do something you love, anything you love. If you love to scroll on TikTok, on your phone, in bed, do it. If you like to go on walks, go on the walk. You have time. It definitely depends on your situation and like if you're in sports and clubs and yada yada, but you usually can find time for yourself. I saw this thing recently where it was like, if you have the chance, quit an activity, quit a club, quit a sport. You don't have to be everything at once. You were literally in high school, college, whenever you're watching this. Um, you, it's your first time living and you get to try whatever you want at whatever time you want, at whatever pace you have. And I think a lot of the time we think that it's like, it's now or never to do all these things, but it really isn't. I quit like three clubs. I would just like cram a bunch of things in. So it's like, oh, I'm doing all these like things for college and I'm being productive so I can get into these nice colleges and all these things. But it's like, what about the things you want now? Yes, it might be helping you in the future, but you're gonna look back and be like i had no high school years because the whole time i was doing all these activities all these everything because i think a lot of the times it just feels like oh i have so much to do and you kind of forget about yourself <laughs> You guys my only task is to study today so this is like very unrealistic because i usually have more homework than this but i actually have one thing that i gave myself to do and that is study my spanish vocab words obviously this isn't going to be like the most realistic routine ever but like the idea is the same so i'm outside right now and i'm enjoying nature but i'm also getting the things i need to get done then I'm just gonna study 20 words from here. Not ones that I've studied already, but like ones that I need to like, I haven't studied yet. Mess around and put up in the friend zone. With you is like being in the end zone. Touchdown, touchdown, ay. What? I 
Okay guys, so now that we're out of the shower and we're freshly washed, it is time to do like probably one of my favorite parts of a night routine and that is mood lighting. Um, as you can see, these lights in my room, I'm so grateful I have them and I love it, but it's not very ominous. Is that the right word? It's not really moody. It doesn't like add anything and yeah. Also, my cats are eating behind you, so that's why you hear all the crunching stuff. First of all, like mood lighting, if you like continuously do it, it will like tell your brain, oh, okay, it's time to go to sleep when you have all these like dimmer lights on. So my goal is to illuminate my room without the big light on. So that's kind of one of my favorite things to do because first of all, it's so fun. Um, and it just like makes everything feel so much more put together. <laughs> is it like so much more like calm in here it just like feels like somewhere i could sleep like also i feel like it transitions my room into like into a like unproductive like calm zen area because when my lights are on it's like right after school i'm getting things done um i'm cleaning my room all these things but when these lights are on it means all of that's over and it's time to just focus on like relaxing and i love it And if you want to read my mind, just go ahead. There's nothing to hide. I'm so depressed. I'm not gonna lie, but your problems are bigger than mine. You guys i literally just finished editing a youtube video so if you guys haven't watched my morning routine that is posted before this and i just kind of like i was like oh i'm gonna finish editing and like my brain automatically goes to that takes 10 minutes but every single time i do it i do it for like an hour an hour plus every single like session i do it but i just finished it i'm super in love with it i love the way it looks but yeah it is time to like wind down but like a lot i think tonight i am going to do some yoga so 